Hey cousin, so today I'm going to be taking you guys to a normal eating day with me. Now on a lazy day when I don't feel like cooking or I have a lot of things to do, I just grab one of my favorite drinks, an Arden Garden drink. This one specifically is plant protein. It tastes just like a smoothie. It's just a natural drink. You can get these from Publix or your local Arden Garden store. Now for lunch, I always keep it nice and fruity. It really just depends on what kind of fruit I have in my house. And today we're going to do blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. I'm going to make me a fruit bowl. And I like to add either peanut butter or almond butter with some granola. And it is so good. Oh my god. Uh, it really just depends on the day. Some days I do just a regular fruit bowl or I'll do a smoothie bowl, which I'm actually going to make for said. So I'm just going to show you guys that this is another option. This is another thing that I do. It really just depends on how I feel. Um, I actually like to make mine with almond milk. And today I'm making seds with a ginger juice. So it's going to be nice and healthy, nice and good. Oh my God. This is like one of my favorite things to eat. Uh, I like to to eat this for lunch or breakfast it really just depends on the day and what's going on and if I have time to do all that for dinner I'm gonna make crab cakes this is another one of my faves so I have some jumbo lump crab meat and then I'm gonna add some parsley some onion powder and garlic powder pink Himalayan salt and an egg and we're gonna mix that all up also some breadcrumbs we gotta add that in so it can be nice and thick and it can get crunchy I'm gonna add some celery and onions for flavor so good I end up adding another egg because it just wasn't right. I don't know how I forgot this, but I normally add honey mustard to my mix and I totally forgot when filming this video. I'm still going to get it on there. I'm just going to put it on the top. But just for future references, guys, make sure you add that honey mustard into your mix so that it's all mixed in and it's just going to be so good. Everybody meet my lifesaver. This is the Curl Smithson pressure cooker and air fryer. It's a pressure cooker and air fryer combo. It has multi-purpose cooking capabilities, including steaming, searing, sauteing, pressure cooking, air crisp bake, roast, and broiling. When I tell you guys that this is a lifesaver, it's a lifesaver. It saves me so much time. I can cook just about anything in it. It has multiple settings on it to determine what you're cooking, like french fries, burgers, fish, chicken. I set mine to french fries, which left the temperature at 360 for 15 minutes because I want my crab cakes to be nice and crispy. This is how you turn the air fryer into a pressure cooker by changing the top. It's very simple and easy to operate. This also came with a manual. It also came with a cookbook, which has a ton of recipes. It came with a measuring cup and then this little scooper. The crab cakes are cooking. We only have about 12 minutes left. I'm gonna prepare my side, which is zucchini. This is one of my favorite vegetables to eat. So I'm just going to saute it in some vegan butter. And I'm gonna add some onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt for flavor. Wow, these came out so good in the air fryer. They're nice and golden 
and crispy i like my crab cakes crispy at the top but then i want them to be nice and chunky and soft in the inside and the air fryer did just that oh my god so good you guys have to check out this air fryer and pressure cooker the information will be linked in my description i'm gonna do a little taste test and then i'm gonna plate this with some honey mustard and sprinkle a little bit of parsley because i like my plates to look pretty regardless if i'm filming videos or not this is just what i do on a daily basis yeah i'm very extra i'm that girl